What's up guys, it's me Russell again, and today we are in for our second mod review. First we did shaders, as you can see it looks pretty sweet. Okay, so um, today we're going to be doing the Doctor Who mod, as you can see. I'm a giant fan of Doctor Who because I even have this Doctor Who skin, the 10th Doctor. So uh, what I'm going to do now, oops, what I'm going to do now is uh, go into the uh, mod lab. Go on in. Okay, now we're in. Now we're gonna take a look. Okay, we got Smithers here, my friendly old doggy, and Professor Minecraft. He's gonna be uh, doing a lot of stuff with us in our mod reviews. And here's my little buddy Shaders. I mean, <laughs> Smithers. Um, so what I'm going to show first is um, well, here we are. Here, Professor Minecraft stops hanging around with me. Go do your work. Alright, so what I'm going to show first, uh, well, actually, it's not the Doctor Who mod, it's the Dalek mod, but I like to call it the Doctor Who mod. There's like a million Daleks and other cool mods I'll show you. But first, what I'm going to show is, um, I'm going to show the items. Here we got the, uh, Dalekanium ingots, which you can use to craft things like Dalekanium armor and swords and stuff. Steel for armor, but you can't do swords and stuff like that. Kind of sucks. But uh, here, I'll get all the sonic screwdrivers I have to show you. Um, so, uh, here's the 10th Doctor and 9th Doctor sonic screwdriver. It's the best thing ever. And it even makes crazy noise. Oh, update. Alright, uh, yeah, even makes super awesome noise. Sonic screwdriver noise. When you do it in the air, make the sound on the floor makes that sound. It sounds pretty awesome. What I'm gonna show you is, let's see this. Boom. You can even do that light TNT uh, right here. I'm gonna go get some TNT. Sweet. Sorry, there's uh, my brother here actually. And light that up. Oh, with the sonic screwdriver. And bang. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna do some big explosions around here. Big big explosions. Okay. Do big. Okay, we're gonna get a ton of TNT. We are going to light it with a sonic screwdriver. Light a lot. Oh my god. Oh, and we even have the ore from this mod. Look at that. Look at this. Even get yeah, the ores from this mod. We just ex it's actually kind of common. I don't even know what that's for though. Well, maybe it's for Sonic screwdrivers. Here, I won't be showing crafting recipes in this video. I mean, but uh, you can go ahead in another video I might be making soon. It's gonna be the crafting recipe for this uh, mod showcase. Actually, I'm just gonna have like a part two maybe. This is gonna be split into like probably three parts or. Two or even more than that. Um, yeah. So just because there's tons and tons of stuff. So you got um, these really sweet models and the 11th Doctor screwdriver, 8th Doctor's, and the third Doctor's. Actually, it's third, fourth. Uh, I'm not sure about the other guys, but whatever. These are from the uh, classical ones. So those are that. So I'm gonna throw that out. Now I'm going to show you this. Sorry about the voices in the background. This is my brother and my dad doing some Minecrafting. Uh, I'm going to show you this first. Actually, I'm going to uh, show you that in a sec. Those two items together. Yeah. Put that back out. Okay, perfect. So the Sonic Blaster, if you guys have watched Doctor Who, is really awesome. Um, Sonic Blaster is Captain Jack Sonic Blaster. Which is also River Songs, though. Um, it uh, like makes things disappear, and you can like put it back. But uh, in Minecraft, you just do that. It's a really cool way to mining. And even in survival, it'll even get you grass blocks. Can you believe that? And you can just go mining like like this. Watch one second. Let me uh, here like this. You can just go mining like this. And it's the best way of mining of all Minecraft. See, look. And it even gives you the ore when you do it. That's crazy. 
And look how efficient this thing is. It just goes down. It's crazy. Look how far we went. Just in a short period of time. Um, we're gonna chuck that all away. <laughs> this is my brother singing. Say Tara. Yeah. So that's the Sonic Blaster. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna show you that soon when I show everything else. I'm not sure what Night Zone 9 does. So far, what I see, it's... I don't even know what it does. Uh, this one is a Dalekanium Nugget. I'm not sure where you get that. But the Zeton 7 Crystal is from the ore I just showed you when we were exploding things. River Song's Diary, Credits, Lasers, and Tardis Key. I'm going to show you River Song's Diary. It's pretty sweet. You can uh, regenerate into First Doctor, Second Doctor, Third Doctor, Fourth Doctor, Fifth Doctor, Sixth Doctor, Seventh Doctor, Eighth Doctor, Ninth Doctor, Tenth Doctor, and the Eleventh Doctor. Oh, also that's the Twelfth Doctor. Uh, and then there's Thirteenth, which is me. BBC, you should just hire me right now, because I'm the new 13th Doctor. Yes, who would have thought I am the 13th Doctor? Yes, that's correct. The 10th Doctor skin. Yeah. All right, so, um, <laughs> uh, now what we're going to do is more items. Oh, did I throw that river sign? Uh, river, I'm sorry about that, guy. I just need to put that back. Uh, okay, we got the credits which you can spend them on stuff. I don't even know what you can spend it on. Lasers, I mean, it can make that noise, but so far it doesn't really do anything because I'm trying to shoot them at the cow. It doesn't do it. And plus, you don't see it. Cause I get, I'm guessing it's like a static laser, but uh, it's not doing anything at the moment. And the TARDIS key is not very useful. Actually, in uh, I'm pretty sure in survival you use it to open the TARDIS up. But uh, in creative, you can just do it with your hand. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, so those are the items. And we got tons and tons of blocks. I'll be showing that in the next uh, part of this video. And we got all the uh, armor and clothing. So I'm just going to show you all these cool things. As many as I can fit my inventory. Actually, I'm just going to take all of them. Okay. So this one is a fez and a bow tie. Looks Pretty sweet. So I'm going to F5 to see my fez and a bow tie. How cool is that, guys? You can actually get fezes and bow ties just like from the TV show. So that's pretty sweet. Um, uh, now what I'm going to show you is the uh, gas mask, which looks super freaky from like um, the Nine Doctors episode. Um, uh, what was it called? Empty Child. It was so freaky. Uh, yeah, so that's a gas mask. Um, that's that. <coughs> and here's a steel armor. Sorry, my brother keeps on coughing. He's right next to me. Yeah, and that's from killing Cybermen. You get steel, and you can make it for armor. Oops. Uh. Okay. It looks kind of weird on me. And you got the Dalekanium armor. Same thing. Uh, except from Daleks. <laughs> A six Doctor's coat, which uh, actually looks pretty much like it from the TV show, from the classics. And you got the Tenth Doctor's uh, black glasses, which is like specs. They kind of do make your eyes like bulge out. Weird, it's weird. Uh, you got the First Doctor's whatever that says. It's like his hat that he wore. Um, third Doctor's coat, which is uh, I, I don't know how to explain that. And the Dalek costume has some kind of glitch right now, like when uh, when you like uh, it makes you look like a Dalek, except my body is like half taken out of the Dalek. So yeah, it makes you look like a 1960 Dalek. So yeah, but the Daleks don't get fooled by this costume, which kind of sucks. Oops. Okay. Um, yeah, we took that off. Now, I want to show you, uh, Ace's jacket. It looks super giant. Like, I don't know. It's just so giant. Uh, you got the 3D glasses, which look like that, except I already have 3D glasses on my skin, so it doesn't really make a difference. 
I already did the gas mask. The top hat from the 11th Doctor's wearing looks pretty sweet. Um, and there's the 7th Doctor's hat and the 4th Doctor's um, super awesome colorful scarf. Looks so awesome. So yeah, those are all the clothing. I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> I'll be right back with you guys when I put all those clothing away. So I'll see you guys then. Professor MZ. Yeah, I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, I'm back. So now let's get on to the next part. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, let's get on to the next part. I'm doing box the next videos, as I said. Um, uh, we're gonna show you the weapons and tools, which is basically delegating uh, items, which actually adds a sledgehammer into it. It looks like Thor hammer. And you got Ace's baseball bat. Uh, six damage and or attack damage. So that's pretty cool. And other, I'll get to that now. Um, we got all the TARDISes, which I'm going to show you. Uh, first of all, we got this classic TARDIS. 9 and 10's TARDIS. 9 and 10's TARDIS. 9 and 10's TARDIS. We got 11's TARDIS. And we got this, like, uh, TARDIS console. Oh, the TARDIS console. Yes, uh, yes, that's one of the cool things. Also, I forgot some. Oh, TARDIS. Sorry about that, guys. TARDIS console, let me bring that back. And the, uh, TARDIS. The TARDIS command lock is kind of weird. Let's see, oh, cancel. Okay. Oh my god. Oops, kids off. Okay, so this one, I'm going to name it Russell. Box. And now uh, we're going to make it a cool TARDIS, this one. Green screen. No. Okay, um, we're just going to do some random things. This command thing doesn't work. I don't know what it's for. But uh, this one, you can just like name it whatever you want. Um, but that one doesn't really matter for at the moment. And this one is the original TARDIS I'll show you right now. Look, see, now you end up inside of it. Inside the TARDIS. The old TARDIS. It looks pretty sweet. Uh, you got all these levers and stuff. They don't do anything. And you got this teleportation system. I will show you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, one sec. I'll be right back with you. Uh, wait a second. No, yeah, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I just fixed the screen a little bit for you guys. Okay, I'll show you that teleport. Ah! I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. Right. Uh, now we're going to 10 and 9's TARDIS. Looks pretty sweet. Um, by the way, I'm using Faithful Texture Pack. If you guys want to, to uh, download it. You got a bunch of cool features. You got the teleportation system as the last one did. I'm going to show you the uh, extra room. Uh, extra room just TARDIS has. It's pretty sweet. Come down here. Has these are hallways that don't lead anywhere so far. Um, and you come upstairs to this library chest place. You can just basically live in the TARDIS, which is pretty sweet. Looks like a house in here. Uh, the doctor lives in the TARDIS, so anyone else could. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, oh my god. Yes, and it goes woo woo yeah, yeah. It makes those noises and does it effect. And eleventh TARDIS, which is the best one so far. And check it out. Look how cool this looks. That's how sweet it looks. Um uh, oops, sorry guys. Uh yeah, there are a bunch of teleport things I will be showing. Um maybe actually uh in the next video or maybe in this one. So you got this upstairs area and it has this hall down here, which is uh this library with the swimming pool inside. That's so sweet. And it comes with these extra uh, bookshelf blocks that look way cooler than normal ones. Uh, they're like 3D. And you got the swimming pool in the library, just like in the TV show. And it's sweet. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm going to end this video now because my thing's ending. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'll show you all the cool things. Um, in the mod, uh, all the mod that has to offer, I mean, yeah, yeah, so, um, come on and watch part two, um, yeah, so, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, like, comment, subscribe, 
and goodbye everybody. Bye-bye.